Welcome to part two of this little motion graphics animation that we're making in Blender. If you haven't already seen part one where I covered the modeling and the animation, you can watch it on my channel. But in this part, I'm gonna show you how to set up some materials and lighting to make this render. Now, the only difference between what I'm gonna be showing you and the actual result you're seeing here is that I just last second before I rendered went and added in a different texture in the back and um, made some ripples on it. But that's just a minor thing in the background. It's gonna be pretty much the exact same materials that I had in my original that you're gonna be seeing in this tutorial. So let's get into part two and let's make some materials. I'm gonna keep it relatively simple. So let's go over to our render properties. I'm gonna go with cycles. Looks way better that way. And if you have a GPU, as always, I recommend you use it. And under our render settings, we're gonna go with the max sample I'm gonna go with 55, because obviously I'm doing a tutorial, I don't want the rendering to take too long. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go Shift A, I'm gonna add in an area light, and I'm gonna go G, Z, move it up. Um, we don't want it directly above, because we, um, we have this um, half semi-sphere here, so it'll interact and look weird with the shadow, so we're just gonna take it to the side and rotate it, maybe over here. And let's give it a strength of, I think 120, because it's a smaller scene. And let's go Z and go rendered in camera view. And you can also go control B and drag over your camera to limit the rendering to the camera. And at this point, I'm gonna go shift D with that light, have it coming over from this side maybe a little bit. Okay, that's looking good for now. We'll adjust it later. But we also need to go shift A and just quickly add in a plane and go R, X, 9, 0. Quickly scale it up. And then go G, Y and move it back. And just scale it up, so way back in the scene. And if this one, we're just gonna go to materials tab and go new, and we're just gonna give it an emission, make it a emissive one. And let's give it kind of like a greenish, kind of robin's egg blue kind of color here. That's gonna be our background. You can make yours whatever you want. And then let's grab the top segment here. Let's go new. And I'm gonna go to the base color here, and I'm gonna make this guy kind of like a darker mint green, like so. And I'm gonna bring down that roughness quite a bit to make it more reflective. Then I'm gonna grab the bottom one, I'm gonna go new, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give that sort of almost the same kind of darker mint, but I'm gonna make it a lot darker, like so. And once again, I'm gonna bring down that roughness to make it more reflective. And um, that's what we have there. I'm also gonna grab the slide, I'm gonna go new, I'm gonna give it a kind of coppery metal color, make it a bit darker in the value, and drag up the metallic, and then I'm gonna bring down the roughness a bit. Okay, so these are what we have so far. I'm also gonna select the um, grabber for the bottom semi-sphere. I'm gonna give that that same copper material. Feel free to name them, by the way. And let's now go maybe in the middle here somewhere, and let's grab these actual spheres, let's go new, and let's go down to the very bottom and let's give them a full value on the transmission. And for the roughness, I'd recommend you bring them down just a little bit, but not all the way. I like a bit of roughness in there. And then for these little icospheres here, you can just uh, grab them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab them. Here we go. And hold and shift, just select one of them so they're active and then go new and then go Control L or Command L and link those materials. And then under the base color here, let's just make them kind of like a yellowish green. I'm gonna make them fully metallic and um, yeah, let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna go Z, I'm gonna go rendered. Okay, that's looking really cool. So as you can see here, the theme I'm going with is kind of like this sort of green theme over here. And uh, let's make sure everything has these elements, I'm gonna grab the top half sphere, give it that glass, and the very top bit, I'm gonna give it that uh, copper here. Now with the glass here, you could take the base color and make it a bit lighter in value. There we go. Uh, you can give it a little bit of a tinge of a color if you want, something like green. I'm gonna go with a very, very slight kind of green, very sensitive here, something like that. And I think that's looking pretty cool. Now at this point, we can make this look better by going to our shading workspace. And let's grab our top um, disc here. Let's make it a bit more interesting. So we're gonna go Shift A search and get a noise texture. And let's go Shift A search and get a color ramp node. Plug the color into here. And let's make it something like 120 on the scale. 
and let's plug this um, in here and go Z and go rendered and let's drag this black and white value together just so we kind of get these white speckles throughout and now we can use this as a mix so we're gonna go shift a search and get a mix shader plug this into the top factor and then plug the principal into one of these and then plug the shader into here the mix shader and let's make sure that the green is in the top shader input split it over here and now all we need to do is grab this bottom shader drag it and go principled and get a principled bsdf and let's make that metallic and let's make it kind of a bit darker and let's bring down that roughness so it's more reflective so now we have these faint little specks that are reflective in here and you can come here and adjust that by sliding these values here like so and I might make it less dark something like that now we have these cool little speckles running throughout um, maybe give it a bit of a color if you want and um, adding in a HDRI will make this better so for now I'm just going to go uh, this is optional but under your world settings you can just go and add an environment texture and I've already got a few on my computer so I'm just going to grab one but like I said this is definitely more on the optional side if you want to do something like that but now I've got some HDR lighting I'll bring down the strength a little bit and that's it as you guys can see here I'm just maybe gonna um, duplicate a light source one more time rotate it in okay that's looking really good one more thing to do is just go ahead to our render settings let's just enable motion blur and let's go back to our layout and what I'm going to do now is just get a shot here that I think looks pretty cool and then I'm going to go render and render image and would you look at that I think that is a pretty nice looking render if I do say so myself came out pretty well a few things I would probably change is just making these values a little bit darker just give a little bit more contrast um, same goes for this guy over here but this point and I, I'm keeping with the kind of green minty theme maybe a bit more saturation um, whatever you guys want to go with um, even with your background you can mess around with that um, but I'm going to kind of stick with what I had originally the sky really is the limit so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I will be uploading my original to Patreon. I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. And if you haven't seen part one of this one, also make sure to check it out.